doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never. Oh no. I I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. My son, Sean, is missing. I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? we go. Blowing the joint. The Lone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Uh oh. They found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Okay, Nick, let's go. Hey, Valentine. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. Well, let's get going. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. You do that while I oh look around. God. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Where'd he go? There he is. The hell? 
Time to dance. Ah. Do not shoot my dog. Legendary. Oh, there we are. Oops. There we go. Nick, let's keep moving. We'll talk once we're out. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Supposed to be all kinds of vault suits. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. There we go. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Okay, fortunately, Mama Murphy gave me some, uh, advice, so, we can get to this without bloodshed. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh. Poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old day. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should've just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Wait, Skinny. Remember the quarry? Lily June on the rocks? Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got to really count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. Better get out of here fast. One. Two. My parents were right. I should never have gotten mixed up with people from Good Neighbor. Where are you, Valentine? Here we go. Whoops. Okay, what we'll do, when we get up here, Nick will say, meet us at the office, and we'll fast travel back to Diamond City, and then we'll go talk to Piper. 
into our interview. By the time we finish that, he should be back at the office as well. <coughs> Pardon. That is, if we can get through this load screen. Jeez. These are some fun mods. I'm having a having a blast. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. I never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean. How he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Okay. This isn't wicked shipping, is it? No. Okay. Well. Off we go then. What's that? Oh, right. Alright, so we'll go do our interview with Piper and then by the time we're done, Nick should be back in his office. We can start the next phase of our adventure. I'm skipping a lot of the Diamond City side quests. I just want to get through the story. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> That's not it. Public is here. Pull the wool out from under your eyes. Pull the wool out from under my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Piper, where are you? Here, let's... Selling papers is busy work, mister. I don't see her. Aha! I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, I'm not taking her as a companion. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh... My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Fun destroying things. <laughs> Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. 
The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City. Need to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Okay. Well. Well. Ah. Time to go see Nick. I'm not taking him either as a companion. Although, I think I have to have him come with, so we'll see. Oh, there he goes. He just got here. I'll follow him back to his office. take this mug for anyone else <laughs> you keep laughing at death someday death's gonna laugh back not as long as I got a few friends who back me up you saved Nick this agency and my job thank you hey happy to do it yeah go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then do you here every cap we agreed to for finding him Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be uh, okay we were in a vault when it happened vault 111 it, it was some kind of cryo facility you were on ice huh more importantly you were underground sealed up a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person what else can you tell me we're looking for my son Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Now, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. 
The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Okay, Nick. Off we go. All right, once we look at Kellogg's house, we'll, I'll take another brief break. Maybe get something to eat. Didn't want to eat. Breakfast time. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies. They're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Got it. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whip? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Nah, I you want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? 
You say jump, I'll say how high. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else here we want. Don't want iguana bits. screen. <coughs> okay, dog meat, where are you? There we go. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Coming, Nick? There you are. <sighs> oh, yeah, I was supposed to. All right. I'm going to pause, grab a bite, and be back. Probably about time to upload one of my previous ones again. I want to get the whole series out there, so. We got, okay, number nine has been uploaded, so now it's time for number ten. Okay, dog meat. Uh, I'm gonna stop here and I will be back in oh 10 minutes or so so stand by <laughs> 